everyone. This is Dvang. Welcome to episode 26 of the Outlaw Joseph Scotts, entitled Stop Horsing Around. Joseph goes to town after his adventure. We do have a few cleanup things to do. Joseph leveled up. Uh, Joseph had a couple of uh, loot cards that I had mistakenly drawn gear for instead of artifacts, So, because I was in the other world, so I need to uh, take care of those. And uh, obviously uh, rolling for corruption. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the video. All right, everyone. Here we are. Uh, so we do have the cleanup that we need to do from last session. First of all, as it was pointed out, um, is there were uh, several uh, loot cards uh, last session when I was in the swamps, and I mistakenly... Uh, you know, only got gear cards when, because I was in the other world, they were artifacts. And there were actually three of those cards. So I need to draw and see um, what um, I want to keep. Uh, instead of, uh, so the gear cards were, there was an axe, or sorry, a knife, which I had dropped uh, a tonic. So I've got a tonic token, that goes away. And the third one was the uh, Saxton's Fancy Tonic. So I do not have that gear card. So I'm going to draw the three artifact cards and let's see if any of them... I, I have essentially no hands free, but I have a Cavalry Saber gear card which I had picked up. And so that's worth 600. We'll see if there's something uh, more interesting than that. Uh, luckily, um, and this was not intentional, uh, I have gotten the expansion card, artifact cards now for the Swamps of Jargano, so I now have a nice thick stack of artifact cards for the Swamps. Uh, so now I can actually draw three of these and let's see what, see what we get. So the first one is the Stone Tablet, uh, plus one lore, and once per adventure, cancel a darkness card. Hmm. Useful. Uh, for him, and let's see, um, well actually two, there was two artifacts at one time, uh, which was the knife and the tonic. So I actually get to draw a second one and can take a look at it, uh, which is the tribal armor. Plus two health, armor six plus, once per turn you can reroll any number of dice for an armor roll. So now this is interesting. So he does have the helmet, which is a 5 plus armor. Uh, and uh, the tribal armor, which is plus 2 health and all armor, 6 plus. Now you can wear multiple pieces of armor, but you only take the best. So he would have a 5 plus armor, although it means he could get rid of his hat if he wanted. Um, but he also gets to reroll any number of for armor rolls. So that means he could get a free reroll on his 5 plus armor rolls. Is it worth using my one open, uh, you know, slot um, for um, basically two health and being able to reroll my armor saves? I do make a lot of a lot of armor saves, uh, so getting a free free you know a free grit once per turn uh, to reroll any number of dice for an armor roll could be very. Uh, it could be very nice. I think that's, and it's 550, so it's almost as much as a cavalry saber. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take that tribal armor and get rid of the cavalry saber. And then uh, I had the fancy tonic, which needs to be replaced, which is replaced with statue of a serpent god. Plus one lore and immune to poison markers. As nice as that would be, it's only worth 325. It is a weight. Um, and I try to go to the doctor uh, and get the $10 injection. So there we go. So we have the tribal armor. Um, I will need to decide if I will actually want to keep that or, or sell it because unfortunately now I'm out of, um, out of weight that I can carry uh, because only strength of two and so that means he can carry seven. So he's got the tomb chest is one. His two pistols uh, is two, three. The bandolier is four. 
the buckle is five, the serpent skull helmet is six, and the tribal armor is seven. Now, theoretically, I suppose I could get rid of the bandolier, and that's one of his three rerolls. Hmm. And it does have two upgrade slots on that to, to throw stuff, but I haven't, haven't thrown anything on it yet. Uh, and the tribal armor is shoulders. Do I have anything on my shoulders? I do not. The bandolier is actually just a gear. Uh, it doesn't actually take up a, a slot anywhere. So, hmm. Uh, but that'll be an interesting, interesting choice. Uh, now, I failed the last mission, and the failure for that was... Uh, oh, before I get to that, I do need to make uh, his corruption hits. So he has his two outlaw pistols, each of which has a dark stone grip. Those are the only items he has that have uh, the dark stone icon. He has three dark stone, but they are in the tomb chest. So I need to make two uh, rolls to see if I take corruption hits. I take two corruption hits. And Joseph already has one corruption, so now he needs two willpower saves. Saves once. He's going to take one more corrupt point of corruption. Now, from there, I need to travel. Now, if, because I failed the last mission, the failure condition for that was to... I have to go twice as far. Basically, the... The, the undead hordes destroyed the closest town, uh, unfortunately, ate all the inhabitants. Uh, unfortunately, I also destroyed the town, so I can't just loot it while there's, when there's nobody there. So it will uh, take Joseph uh, quite twice as long to get to the next town. So let us roll twice to see if we have any travel hazards. And we do. We do have one. And I am not going to grit that. So let us see what the travel hazard is. Roll 3d6. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Harried by Hellbats. As the heroes move through the countryside, dark swarms of Hellbats follow overhead, swooping down to terrorize them as they go. Each hero will roll a d6 for every dark stone they are carrying, including items. So that would be two. On a roll of one, that dark stone shard slash item is snatched away by a hellbat and is discarded. Ugh. No! Uh, I will use a grit to re-roll this. So I'm not sure if I can re-roll that, but we'll say I can. <laughs> uh, that would suck to lose the outlaw pit, one of his outlaw pistols, um, and uh, I don't know that it's uh, if you can grit that. Um, some things you can, some things you can't. Um, in general, you should lean towards the uh, in the favor of the players. Um, obviously, you can't do like say group rolls like. Uh, like the travel hazard chart roll, you know, wouldn't be able to uh, be re-rolled. Uh, you know, the one that gave me the seven, the Hellbat event. Uh, but individual uh, things, pertaining, roles pertaining to a particular character usually can be gridded and re-rolled. Uh, and so in this case, um, it would make sense that he could grit to re-roll uh, the Hellbat snatching one of his pistols. So we will go with that. So Joseph makes it to town um, relatively unscathed, but with another narrow uh, and close call. And I will also uh, mention that Joseph did level up uh, during the course of the last adventure. In fact, he received a lot of experience because he killed... Um, a lot of Hungry Dead. I mean, he killed uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 
50, 51 undead, uh, hungry dead, uh, in the last adventure, which was actually quite a lot. So, and that was worth, you know, 1500 just just for those guys. So, and he was only 500 away. So after all of this, uh, and he levels up, subtracting off his the 4500 to level to level six, he he actually is back up to 2,575 experience points. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice. So he's actually almost halfway to to seventh level now. With that said, so he's going to level. Uh, we'll do a we'll level him up before he gets to town, and we so we need to roll to see what his uh, level up is on his level up chart and he gets a seven which is simply plus two health and plus two sanity so kind of boring unfortunately but uh, not too not too shabby though I mean all of that all of that will help it puts him up to 28 health and 21 sanity obviously he lost he had some permanent sanity loss during the course of his adventure. And then he gets to choose his upgrade. And uh, I had a couple couple comments uh, that agreed with me that it seems like uh, Renown on the Infamy line um, for the, uh, where are we here? Uh, start each adventure and traveling with one extra grit and plus one agility. Um, is going to be probably the the more useful. Uh, so his agility is five. Uh, well, which reminds me, so actually that would have happened while he was in the mines. So he actually would start with two grit. Uh, obviously he used one, um, but he would start with two grit for traveling and for heading to town. So he still has a grit even after spending one, because uh, that really would have happened before before we did the traveling. I kind of did those out of order. All right, so it is now uh, day one, and Joseph is going to is in town, so he's going to pay his ten ten bucks to stay at the hotel. All right, so there's a number of things that we want to do. First, Joseph obviously he probably he wants the dark stone bullets. He has three dark stone. I think think we were since we're leaning towards the range, that's going to be six dark stone. Joseph doesn't have enough dark stone. So he will want to get Dark Stone Bullets. He's got three right now, so he'd spend one. The other thing he wants to do, he has two corruption. He's going to want to get rid of those. So he's going to want to visit the doctor to get rid of uh, the corruption. And, hey, with his newfound agility, uh, and he is kind of low on money. He didn't get a lot of money, and if he's not going to sell the armor, which or say sell the bandolier. Bandolier's been good for him. It has letting him re-roll. Haven't really found anything. They haven't really had the dark stone to, to, to slot things at this time. And he's got other things that can slot things. Um, his buckle can slot. Uh, he only has one on each of the um, pistol or two on each of the pistols left, potentially one uh, if I'm getting the range upgrade. Hmm. But getting that free reroll of armor dice, that may be worth uh, worth keeping just just at least to try it uh, for uh, for uh, for an adventure. The challenge being that he can't carry if he picks up something else that has an anvil, a weight icon. He can't carry it, and then he'd need to drop something. Whereas, say, if I sold the bandolier, I would get that $375. And wouldn't and then would wouldn't need to drop something. I'd be able to pick up and take whatever it is. Ooh, boy, this is a tough choice. I think. Tribal armor, plus two health and the reroll, and the armor reroll. But it is once per turn, reroll any number of dice for an armor roll. So it's a free grit once per turn. Only for armor saves, obviously. But Joseph does make 
uh, especially some of those initial assaults, um, he does take a bunch. Um, unfortunately, the tribal armor is only 6 plus armor, otherwise I might get rid of the skull helmet. 6 plus armor is not going to stop a lot, uh, even with a reroll. So I, I think it might actually even be worth keeping the, the helmet, because that is the other optional thing I could get rid of, rather than the bandolier. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the bandolier. I'm gonna go one one session with the armor. If I have to drop stuff, or then I'll drop stuff. We'll 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 see what we get. So anyway, long story short, uh, first thing we're gonna do kind of the same thing we normally do. We're gonna come here to the blacksmith for for the first day one. We are going to get our dark stone bullets. So that's basically all we're doing. Get that extra plus one damage. So let's see what we have. Little event at the blacksmith. We have a three, a wild horse. It has to make a strength five plus test to keep the horse under control. Well, it strengths only two. Uh, oh, sorry. Or an agility five plus to dodge and trip him into the fire. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. No, strength five plus. And he fails. Uh, the bad thing is, um, a random building in this town is destroyed and cannot be visited. So the uh, dangerous thing is, if it's the doc's office, um, that's going to be bad because it means I, it means I have to go to the church to cure my corruption, uh, which is a bit more random. But uh, I don't think I want to spend the grit, so let's go ahead and see which building it is. It is four building for the Frontier Outpost. Ooh, hiss! So no robbing the bank this time, boy. Joseph just does not have that kind of luck. All right. Well, so we are buying the bullets for 200 and a dark stone. And that is day one. There's nothing else that Joseph wants to buy there. Come back to the hotel. Let's see if Joseph is recognized. Infamous outlaw that he is. So I'm rolling six dice now to see if he's recognized. This is going to get expensive really, really quickly. Potentially. He is recognized once. So he has to pay fifty dollars, uh, but he does get ten experience for that for being recognized. And then let's see if there is a town event. There is not, although that was awfully awfully close. So we will come here to the day two. Day two, going to the doctor's office. So beyond also at the doctor's office, uh, curing corruption, we'll want to get the injection to resist poison, and we need to buy some more healing items. We used our two bandages last session. Uh, we may want to get an herbs uh, or two or some bandages, one or, one or the other, probably some herbs. I've already got one herbs, one herbs, and two whiskey in my side bag. So let us see what happens at the doctor's office. A four. Dirty tools. Surgery rolls are at minus one to the chart. Well, sir, he is not does not have an injury or a mutation, so we can we're good with that. Uh, so he's gonna treat corruption, so it's a hundred dollars per. So that's gonna subtract two hundred to get rid of his two corruption points. And then he rolls a d6. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Again, I've I've got this dice uh, problem. Uh, six. Uh, no, so he would only take wounds on a one, two, or three. So there is no extra wounds from the doctor. So even though he's got dirty tools, the doctor himself isn't too bad, and he can he can treat that corruption. So I'm here. So. Uh, 
ten dollars to for the injection, antivenom injection, and then one hundred and twenty-five per herbs. So two hundred and fifty. Let's go ahead and spend two hundred and fifty. And that will uh, give him two more, two herbs, so he'll have three herbs. So he's got, with 28, 28 hit points, 2d6 is going to be probably best uh, for than, than the bandages. And I do have enough money, I got 675. Although I was looking forward to getting close to either getting the horse or I do need to save up. Well, the barrels are, are cheap. Uh, $225. So I don't really need to save up money for the barrels, it's just the dark stone that I need to acquire. I don't think there's anything else that Joseph wants to pick up. Um, he could pick up a specimen jar. Sure, you know what? I can use some, some money, so I will pick up a specimen jar for 150 Leaves him 525 gold left. And I think that's it. I think that's it for the day. Alright, Joseph now needs to see if he is recognized. He is recognized once, so he needs to pay another 50. But he gets 10 more experience and then we see if there's a town event there is not again just just over so now the question is Joseph what do you want to do can't rob the bank because the frontier outpost has been has burned to the ground I could go to the saloon, don't need to go to the church, don't need to go to the general store. So the saloon would be the only other potentially thing, uh, thing to do if he wanted to try to pick up some extra money um, with his luck. Or his cunning and his luck being a four. Could be, could be, excuse me, could be useful. But I think that's it. I don't think, uh, you know, I'm losing, with rolling six dice, the longer I stay in town, the more money I'm going to lose. Uh, the potential of what I'm going to get at the saloon is going to be pretty minimal. Really, robbing the bank at this point is about all that Joseph can do in town. I mean, he's already lost 100 gold for his two days stay in town. And uh, that's actually being pretty... I mean, I guess those are the right odds uh, for him, but uh, you know, potentially he could lose a lot more if I rolled several sixes. Uh, and I don't anything I make in the saloon potentially could be lost at the end of the day uh, simply by that from that roll. So I think uh, I think that's all that Joseph wants to do. I, I don't think there's he wants to stay in. I don't think he wants to stay in town any longer uh, than this. So unfortunately, that does uh, mean for you guys that that is about it for this particular episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know, uh, you know, what you guys think about uh, the the tribal armor and the bandolier. Uh, or the uh, skull helmet. What do you think Joseph, uh, you know, should keep or get rid of? Obviously during the next session, uh, if he picks up something, we'll kind of need to figure out what to drop. Uh, but I'd like your opinion on, on what you guys think that, that Joseph, do you think I made the right decision keeping the tribal armor? Uh, in order to get, you know, once per turn a reroll of his 5 plus uh, armor from his helmet. Um, you know, or do you think do you think he can get give up that reroll for the bandolier? Plus, obviously, the bandolier. You know, the bandolier that he's had for a long time is one of the first items he got. Gives him 
rerolls to his, you know, to a ranged hit roll once per turn, and it has two slots. So this is, has been very useful, to, you know, since the start of the game for him. But he does have a skill that gives him one reroll with each gun. And I know we were talking about, for example, the rerolls, you know, upgrades, um, Darkstone upgrades for the guns, uh, and you know, we weren't sure how effective those uh, extra rerolls uh, from those were going to be. Uh, let me know what you think. What do you think about the armor and the reroll? Do I keep both armors? Do I, you know, is the tribal armor not useful? Should I get rid of the helmet and go with the six plus armor with rerolls? Uh, you know, I could conceivably go to the church every day and get blessed from the church. And, um, you know, and get, a, get you know, a, a four plus or a five plus armor from the church. Uh, that way, which doesn't take a slot, but that is also, uh, you know, another location that he has to go to each, each day. Uh, so, yeah, lots of interesting things to, to think about. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, regarding his his item situation, if if you guys think he should drop something, you know, or sell something, um, you know, what is what is the card? Because he's going to have to make the choice at some point. So, what card um, should he need? Or do you think, hey, he's good with this setup that I just did right now with the tribal armor and the serpent skull helmet and the bandolier? Keep them all. Pretty much there's nothing else that that you know Joseph you think Joseph wants or needs and go with that so let me know what, what you guys think uh, and I will think about it as well and next session we're going back uh, into the swamps of Jargano uh, adventure book uh, mission advanced mission number two and we will see what happens there Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep in touch. See you next week.